Welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here, and welcome to another video. This is going to be a little bit different today. Normally what I would do is take you through the process of a build, showing you how I put things together, and then I would install it on a tank, and you would get to see it working. In instead, today what I want to do is skip the build, <laughs> and actually just go straight to the install process. Now, I've done almost all the things that you see on this filter in other filters before. Uh, I'll explain as we go along what this one's supposed to do. But uh, if you actually do really want to see how this is made, uh, just let me know in the comments below. And I am actually going to be building another one of these for another client. And I can go through uh, the, the process of actually making it then, uh, if you like. Now, this aquarium here is built into the wall. Uh, that wood panel you see on the left here, that divides uh, so people on the other side of that wall could see just the front of the tank and then they do actually have people in this side where I'm working currently um, and there's a panel that goes on this side of it to block all the filtration and everything else so none of this is actually visible but the problem with that is it leaves only uh, two places for a filter uh, the main filter for this tank which is see that water pump which is running uh, that filter is underneath and then I need a bit of a fine particle filter, so I use that little uh, baby AquaClear you see there. Now, AquaClears are great little cheap filters. I actually really like them. Uh, you can use them for all kinds of different purposes. Uh, but unfortunately, because of the limited wall space there, this one is undersized for what it needs to do. It tends to plug up really quickly. Because uh, at the moment, there aren't any plants in this tank. Uh, but normally there are quite a few, and the small bits of particles and leaves and stuff tend to plug up that little aquifer way too quickly. And I was having to come uh, once a week and clean it all out just to keep it running. Because once it gets uh, like it is right now, you can see there's very little water flowing through it. And then of course that results in uh, a couple of problems. First off, it's not doing much in the way of filtration anymore. And also the other thing is, is it doesn't really uh, do any circulation as well and the fish were suffering a little bit from lack of oxygen so uh, this filter is going to take care of both those problems and then I will eventually just uh, unplug the aqua clear and take it out of here. So this is going to work in two stages. The one on the left uh, where you see the grating, that's exactly the same as uh, with the underground filtration systems. Uh, and water is going to be pumped up using air because I've been doing a lot of air builds lately and I want to keep trying those out. Not just because I'm having trouble finding good water pumps but because I'm actually really liking the air process and that has certain pros and cons of course but I certainly want to uh, run around with this for a little while longer and see what I can get out of it. So water is going to percolate up through the top of that pipe and then there's going to be a mat in there and that mat is going to be the fine particle uh, filter it's going to go down through that uh, across the bottom of the uh, underneath the center divider you see there and then of course it will uh, go with the hole that's on uh, the far right now I may end up putting a little bit of a, a small pipe in there also just to have that come out a bit more but for the moment what I want to see is how much uh, water circulation I can get uh, simply by using the other one. Now the other pipe you saw me put together there, the three pieces, I'm actually really liking that style of uh, build for delivering water. Uh, the reasons for it is it's easy to put together and then of course very easy to take part and maintain and clean out and all the other things that you need to do normally with filters and it actually works really quite well. It's not the same, I mean, part of me wanted to put uh, the cone-shaped uh, high-pressure water system that I have been using lately, uh, but I don't really want to go to that extent on this just yet. I may end up changing it. That's the other nice thing about this, is because it's modular like this, I can switch pieces out, try different things, and that is also part of the reason for this. The tank really doesn't need extra filtration, because that main filter takes care of the whole thing, but I want to hook up something that I only see once every week or two and see how it works uh, in a real environment where you can't go and fiddle with it every day. And uh, that's very important to me. So I'm going to hook this all up and get it all running. And I definitely plan on continuing to, uh, to do lots of air builds uh, just for the next little while at least. Uh, I won't show all of them of course because 
Uh, there are other ways of doing things, and uh, I don't want to, you know, just show you nothing but that style of build. Now that being said, I am now going to contradict myself, because in the comments for the last couple weeks with all the error-driven systems, and also last week's video uh, with the updates on uh, the algae scrubbers, you guys are giving me a lot of really interesting ideas, and I definitely want to get around to building them, and I don't really want to restrict it based on whether it's an error-driven system or not, uh, so I'm going to just try and get to everything in a timely fashion, and uh, mix it all up a little bit, just so that, uh, like I said, you don't always have one style of build. I mean, I really do like air. It's uh, been proven to uh, have qualities that I, I really actually like, uh, but mag drives, uh, I mean, water pumps are here for a reason. I mean, <laughs> they do move an awful lot more water, and sometimes that's actually really quite necessary. But I'm going to try, like I said, I'm going to try and mix it up, and try and uh, do different things as well. And as far as, like, uh, last week with the uh, algae scrubbers, I actually have a couple really interesting ideas that I'm going to be working on, and you're going to have to be patient with this particular style of uh, building stuff, because uh, algae scrubbers are a little bit different than something like this. I mean, I can plug this in, as I'm going to, and within a few minutes you see whether it works. But algae scrubbers are a different kind of beast. You actually really do need to run them for a length of time. I mean, the last updates, uh, I mean, the first build was over a year and a half ago, and I'm just kind of getting a feel for how that one really works, and how consistent it is, and that sort of stuff. Whereas something like this, uh, as long as it doesn't leak, and as long as it delivers the water, and as long as the water goes through the filter media that you need, uh, besides some tweaking, which I'm going to have to do to this one, uh, it's pretty straightforward. And other styles of builds, like the other thing, and also like the uh, plant grow experiments and stuff like that, they too take a little bit longer, and uh, I will try and get to them as quickly as I can. So I plugged it in. Uh, the water in this tank was really quite low, so initially what you saw was uh, it trying to pump up uh, three extra inches. And I find three, three inches is probably about the max for a good airlift, and it was flowing quite nicely, more than I needed but I want it to go a little higher. Uh, this one's not quite sitting where it needs to be right now. I actually had to put two extra brackets on this just to uh, lift it up a little bit, but once that's in place it actually really runs quite smoothly. And on the left where uh, the air pump is, you can't really quite see what's going on there, but you can see it's gradually filling up the chamber, and you know, I'm going to show you another shot on the side here in a minute. And uh, it's not bubbling as much as this one, even though the two things are actually identical in build, uh, but it's enough. And then that's actually the thing I want to tweak with a little, uh, a little bit more than uh, uh, the other one, because I do want it to uh, produce a little bit more than this. So this is the inside of the tank, and this is three days later, and this is it running, and you can see it's removing a lot of uh, material, and that's all I really needed to do. I really do like uh, this uh, air delivery system, or water delivery, or circulation system that you see on the, the leading edge of this. I really do like how it works. And because this is all hidden behind something, uh, nothing shows. So there's, nothing, there's no uh, underneath the surface of the water or anything. Uh, but I think part of the reason for the lack of difference, or sorry, the, the difference between how much water is coming to each of them is look how much air is coming at each of those air stones. I find air stones are really inconsistent. Uh, some will let a lot of air through, some will let less. But anyway, I'm going to tweak this for a little uh, while and I'm going to uh, show you some updates on this. Uh, like I said, these things don't take that long to give updates for. And I'll just put a quick one on. Uh, I'm going to probably uh, change that pipe out. Actually, I'm going to do that shortly. Uh, you can try a slightly different size and height for that one. Uh, and then I think mostly I think I'll just uh, change up the air stuff. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe. And let me know if you like these install videos because normally I don't even bother showing any of this. This is usually an in-between step. You don't get to see much of it. And I just show you it working like this. So, again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.